What's going on guys, welcome back to another brand new video and today I'm about to show you how to make your own Spider-Man Homecoming Home Inversion Mask with moving islands. As you can see here, it moves. It moves to sad. It moves to confused. It moves to <gasps> shocked. Let's start the tutorial guys. Print out, print out, print out this uh, template for the mask. Alright guys, just click the link down below in the description and yeah. And then next guys what you're gonna need is to get a piece of fabric which is a cotton brushed cotton fabric or you can either use a sweatshirt fabric a lot of people use that so this is the type of the fabric that I use okay it has that uh, nice kind of texture on it yeah once you printed out the template go uh, go get a piece of fabric go take your red fabric and then place this piece at the top of the fabric and then just trace it on and cut it. All right, guys. So make two pieces like this. So I made two pieces. This is the one piece, the first piece, and the second piece. All right. So I have two of them, which came from this template. So I just placed the template, template, and I traced it, and I just cut it. And yeah, I cut two pieces. And what we're gonna do next, guys, is to sew it. You see a hand sew. If you, I'm, I'm, we're gonna hand sew this, this one. But if you have any sewing machine, it will, it will be great. Um, you can either hot glue it, but today I'm not gonna use hot glue. I'm gonna sew it right away. Alright guys, so once you finish sewing everything up, this is how it should look like guys. Okay, so as you can see here, it also have the tightness around around the neck. Okay, it's because the template it already it also has the tightness of it. If you use the template, um, it automat it automatically will um, have your tightness around the neck piece. Alright guys, so I also added on some zip as I've said because this um, <coughs> fabric is not stretchable so it's too hard to wear it, wear it on it's because it also has a tight neck Alright, so what I did guys, I just placed some zippers at the back Alright, so what I did guys is I just um, cut a piece there and then I took a glue gun I glued the the zipper into the cut piece
as you can see also that I have a nice uh, seam line in the middle and it's kind of straight so the, the method that I use is back stitch and I just hand sewn everything and it, it, it ends up pretty well okay Alright guys, so as, as you can see here, I already finished gluing the lenses into the mask and I really loved it. Uh, I, I glued it really nice and it's really symmetric as you can see. Okay guys, as you can see the lens are so amazing, it reflects. It, it's so cool! It reflects so much. You can see those reflect uh, shiny lens. Alright, you can see that. And yeah, as you, as you can see here also, I placed the neck piece. This is the back. Alright. Now, yeah, as you can see here, the, the seam line is really nice it's in the middle. Because, yeah, no, 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 as you can see, it's so dope. Amazing. Hey, um, oh, what's your name? Huh? Okay, guys, so. Yeah, let's go to the final video. Well, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Let's hit this to 500 likes if you want to. And I need 500 likes, guys. I need likes. Alright, guys. So thank you all for watching. And I hope you guys learned a lot. And I'll see you guys into the next video. Stay like a pro.